Hi right there guys, um, I'm a bit late on my blog today um, just because uh, I wanted to get out and started. Um, as you can see, I am, well you probably can't see, you probably don't know, but uh, I'm actually right by my house. I've just delivered in Seahorse Walk, which is, uh, you know, it's always a good feeling. So um, I'm now just on my way down to, uh, into town. There's a Fox Pub, awesome. Um, a couple of people wanted me to talk about some different things. Um, Sarah would like me to talk about, well, she'd actually just like me to go on a rant about something. Um, the problem I've got with that is that uh, I haven't, I'm not really angry today. I'm actually feeling quite chipper. So I haven't really got anything to rant about. But if something comes up, don't worry, it will be on. Um, what else? Uh, oh, best food and drink places. Now, I quite like this idea, because um, I'll be going past a few of them. So what I'll do is I'll mention a couple now um, as I go past and then I'll try and splice it all together so it all works as a one-er. Um, but I'm just going to come up to one place that I like in just a second, just after I've delivered to the Chandlery here. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so we're just coming up to one of my favourite places to eat. Um, just here on the left, it's called the Castle Tavern. Um, most of you probably know it, it's just on the edge of, uh, just, well, you know, opposite town really, uh, by the bus stops and the bus station, and it is absolutely wonderful. Um, the, uh, the food there is just, it's always really good, whether you're having like a steak pie or you're having steak and chips, you know, pub proper pub food, really well made. It's really good, and um, I mean it's a little pricey if you know if you're going if you want to go out for a cheap meal, it's not the place to go. But it is really really nice. Um, I haven't had put it this way, I haven't had to send a steak back, and for me, that's really impressive. So um, yeah, there's my first recommendation: Castle Tavern. Uh, anytime you're feeling for a bit of a treat, go out, do that, okay? I've got another good place to eat coming up on the right hand side of town. Uh, should be able to see the golden us. Yeah, that's right, McDonald's. I know not, you know, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. But I like a bit of McDonald's every now and then. I mean, all right, I have to have like 10 quid's worth of McDonald's to fill me up for about an hour, but it's really nice. And uh, I don't care what anybody else says, I like McDonald's. So I'm just gonna have a, a really quick mini rant because I'm only moving to the street. Um, but I just had a woman um, in a car um, and uh, I went to deliver to her house and she looked at me and said uh, um, oh is that for me I said yes it is and she said um, oh well I'm just nipping out you'll have to come back in about 20 minutes so I said okay not a problem and uh, she won't see me again do you know why because that is just retarded she was sitting outside her house I'm a very 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 busy man I am not going to come back fuck her Fucking people! Bloody posh twats, that's what it is. Fucking. Hiya right, guys, a uh, bit of a moment of quiet reflection. As you can see, I'm down by the beach. Um, it's a beautiful thing. I'm running behind, I'm really, really stressed. So, look at that beautiful, beautiful sunrise, sunset. Isn't that? A beautiful looking thing that we've got going on over there and that just calms me down uh, ah, beautiful and 33 seconds will do now it's back to the rat race here we go uh, I've got a couple more roads to do, haven't managed to do any of the stuff I wanted to talk about today, mainly because I just had, I just had too much to do. Um, I did want to mention, um, when we're talking about food, I did want to mention the ship. Um, I don't know if you guys know it, uh, the ship in down on Leon Solent. 
the food is not quite as good as um, the other one I was talking about, whatever the hell that was called, Castle Tavern. Um, but it is a lot better um, value for money and still really nice food, you know? It's not mind blowing, it's not Jamie Oliver, but it's good, wholesome food. Um, for example, you can get a 16 ounce steak for eight quid. Well, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's the fucking dog's bollocks right there. Um, but there's plenty of uh, plenty of to choose from, you know, all sorts of different pub food, and uh, and you won't regret going down there. I promise you. You know, three of you, twenty five quid maybe tops. Well worth it. All right. Cool. Bye. Evening guys, it's 25 to 6 and I am not finished. Um, turns out that although I went out with 91 drops, um, I actually went out with a lot more parcels than that. Um, the paperwork was just messed up, so it didn't recognise half of the parcels I had. So I've actually gone out with 99 and now have to, I've had to write it by hand, all the ones that are um, not there. So that's sort of increased my time quite considerably. Um, but you know, I'm on my last, what, two drops now I think I've got. Uh, oh no, four, four, I've got four drops. Um, so that's not, you know, too bad. And they're, they're all in Mayfield and Old. So I've got my stab vest on, um, and uh, hopefully, you know, I should be able to get everything done, um, and then get back to the yard. I've got to go see my ma and pa to get um, all my fun sorted out for um, for Christmas, so I can get all my Christmas presents done on Saturday. So that's the plan. So um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't managed to uh, talk too much about the other things that we were going to talk about. Um, I will, on the way back, talk about carvery. Um, because you know, I can't talk about food, as I have done, without talking about carveries because I love them. So I will talk about those on the way back home. Uh, I'll see you soon. Good evening everybody, it's quarter to seven, finished work, it's a little bit late, uh, oh I'm a little bit full of cold today, um, I'm just heading on my way to my Mars house and um, I wanted to talk about carvery, that's what I wanted to talk about. Now <coughs> I am a frequent visitor, in fact me and Kev are frequent visitors to the coach house, what used to be the North Star, and we go um, quite regularly, you know, um, they know us there, so that, I suppose that's quite regularly, and um, we have, um, uh, well, a carvery, but we have a carvery extra meat, costs an extra 60p, but we get a crap load more meat, and, um, you know, we really, uh, really enjoy it, and a lot of people say, oh, no, I don't like the idea of a carvery, because, you know, it's meat, you know, it's just big lab, slabs of meat that are sitting there. Well, you know, they're looked after and it's lovely and hot, you know. And for the the amount of money, I mean, we pay four quid. Four quid each. You know, I couldn't make a roast dinner for four quid each. You know, at home. You go there and you can have as many potatoes and veg as you like. You can go up for seconds if you want. And I mean, we, me and Kev, we just pile our plate up so high that we don't need seconds. But, you know, you can, if you wanted to, do it in smaller portions and uh, have seconds. And I, I like this. I like the idea. Um, you know, I think it's really good value for money. And uh, Gemma, on who uh, follows my blog, was uh, telling me yesterday that... Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, that the Inn by the Sea now do an extreme carvery, which just sounds amazingly good. It's extra £1.50 and you get like half uh, turkey apparently and a massive Yorkshire pudding 
and um, some, well, chipolatas, sausages. Um, I really do like this idea, so the next time I am available and have a bit of money, I am going to head down there. I'm going to try this Carvery Extreme, and, uh, and I will give you my thoughts and views on, uh, on what it's like. Uh, I'm just passing, um, what am I passing, the Oston Squire on the right hand side, uh, another place with some very nice food, which is just a little bit too overpriced for my liking. Um, I think it's a beef eater. Yeah, it's a beef eater. Um, that's some really good food. Um, not quite as nice as the harvester, just up the road, but, you know, we... Uh, Right, well that actually stopped me mid-flow. Um, my sister rang and it just stopped the recording. So, um, I was saying yes, beef eater, good, harvester, better. That's pretty much it, really. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, um, I'll try and talk about, Ross wanted me to talk about Oasis. I will try and talk about Oasis tomorrow. Um, I'm a big Oasis fan of you know fan of their music. Um, not so much a fan of Mr. Um, Gallagher, the Liam kind. Um, always thought he was a bit of a knob, but um, we'll discuss that uh, tomorrow. I shall talk to you guys. Uh, well, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a very nice evening and a very nice day because you won't get me until tomorrow night. So see you later. Bye bye. You want to know one of my pet peeves, Sarah? I'll tell you one. People who can't feckin' drive. I mean, good God in heaven, you pass your test. You know, you, 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 you have to know how to drive. I can't understand it. People who bloody don't indicate. People who mirror signal maneuver in the wrong fucking way. People who are just idiots who drive down the middle of the bloody road and then complain because I'm too close to them. You know, I'm in a whacking great big van. I can't move anywhere else. You know, whereas they're in a pokey little fiesta. You could get a bus through the gap, I'll leave them. And now it's like, oh no, I can't get through. Uh, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm going to clog up the road. And then what happens? Some knob jockey comes up behind an inch away from my bumper. So there's nothing I can do. I can't reverse. I can't go forward. I can't do nothing. I just have to sit there. Ugh. There you go. Rant.